you um, by being a smart one, smart cookie? Well, you know, it's interesting because I don't necessarily think of myself as one smart cookie, just somebody who has actually had incredible opportunity um, uh, given to me to be able to um, really do some interesting things in my lifetime. Who are some influential people that have inspired you to be the woman that you are today? Well, I think number one is my mom, and she was a secretary at IBM, one of the early um, uh, African American secretaries at IBM in Chicago. The other person who was really influential in my life was my grandfather, my, my father's dad. Um, but he believed that I could do anything that I wanted to do. And he was always there to help me do anything that I wanted to do. I had the opportunity to run uh, the foundation, the Freddie Mac Foundation. And one of my early board members was Congresswoman Barbara Jordan. And for me, she was the orator that I always wanted to be. So to be that close to her, to actually have the opportunity to ask her questions. I would say that she was probably my external shero. I particularly enjoy it when I have the opportunity to speak with young people because I like to help them see that the history that's represented in the museum is not that different in fact, than some of the things that we're seeing in our society today. And then I would say, it's important that young women know who they are and what their, what their positions are in life, what they feel, and not what they think somebody else wants them to feel. So I think it's really important that uh, young women are authentic, that they are really striving to meet their goals and that they have the communication skills that are able to tell people, this is what I'm trying to accomplish, and, and they'll get there. I really enjoyed spending time with Miss Terry. I learned that change and success comes when you follow your dreams and persevere.